Okay, welcome back to the 4CV project. The Renault 4CV project, as seen in the background. Well, to be honest, we're trying to stir enthusiasm today. <laughs> it's another gorgeous day. Can't complain about that. But the enthusiasm's really weak today. I don't know why. It was a short work week, but it just seemed so long. I may tell you more about why another time. <laughs> uh, well, more like what we do and why it seems so long. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a long week anyway. There was some other news I may include later. <laughs> um, today, sorry guys, it's just going to be pretty much more degreasing. Um, plan today, I'm going to try to degrease this some more. I got that other uh, journal and I want to do those CVs and uh, beyond that we may or may not even touch these today. It's just we've had enough of it for a little bit. <laughs> but I would like to uh, start degreasing the rest of the axle pieces that I've got laying here. Um, I'd like to degrease them because they're pretty much once I inspect the bearings, they're pretty much going to go back together and get painted, so frankly, uh, I think painting would be a welcome change, show a little bit of progress. <laughs> so, with that in mind, we may even, real soon, get into uh, cleaning the fan and at least painting it. <laughs> it's not much, but like I said, it would seem like some progress, so that's the agenda for the next episode or two so you know what's coming. Okay, I'm going back to the Dupla Color Prep Spray Grass Grass. It's a grease and wax remover. I'm going to shoot these uh, universal joints and the mating surface here. The to degrease it and probably these axles too just to uh, get those ready and then I'll wipe them down and she's trying to tear apart the rear brakes this stuff smells yes this says it requires ventilation it does it has a smirk Did it again last night. I knew they were in for some. Oh, I found out that oh shoot, that won't fit in there. No. You just not found out. <laughs> See that the rivet mm -hmm. that pulls that in, it does move. That's that's the other end of that. Gotcha. So I need something. There we go. But first you don't succeed. You try and try again.
Well, she's making progress on the rear brakes, getting them disassembled. There we go. Look at that. So that'll get cleaned up. Um, I also wanted to give a thanks out to uh, Robin Redrup from the UK Renault Classic Car Club. It's uh, RenaultClassicCarClub.com, I believe. Yes. <laughs> and uh, he suggested a paint color that uh, looked like a real good match. Um, somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, he suggested to try a RAL 6005. It uh, does look like a real good match, but uh, it appears that the RAL is just powder coat. I'm not positive yet. i got to do some more research. Um, I also found a potential match through uh, Eastwood Paints. They have a Chrysler Big Block Green. It uh, they call it a turquoise though, so I want to see it in person to make sure it's not too uh, blue green. But uh, from their web page, it looks like a real close match. So, and that's what I want to. I would prefer to go more with the enamel type engine paint with the ceramic in it. Gives a nice shiny finish, you know. And it'll withstand the temperatures real well. Um, if that doesn't pan out, maybe I'll need to go down and talk to the guys down the street here that do uh, powder coat and see what that's going to cost. Yeah. So, anyway, thanks to Robin, for Robbie, for uh, getting back to me. I'm not having a whole lot of luck with uh, replies lately on the U.S. North American Renault Club. Uh, and I know people have lives in the springs times here, so who wants to be stuck in their garage all the time? <laughs> so, uh, that's all right. I gotta Google. How do I disassemble these universal joints? It looks like a big C clip, but what am I supposed to grab it? How am I how do I grab it? I used to work for a company that made these for uh, Ford and Chrysler. And uh, it's funny because this rear end here, this whole thing would probably fit into inside one of our larger, <laughs> where the planetary gears sit in one of our larger rear ends. This diff is uh, so tiny. Uh, I also ran a machine that ground down the bearing caps on universal joints. You'd think I'd have some knowledge on how this comes apart, but I don't. I have an idea, I just don't want to mess it up. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just missed it when she just dropped that <laughs> hole. <laughs> yeah, exactly.